Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range and today we're looking at the Sky CPX3 380 ACP handgun with magazines that carry 10 rounds. This one has an extended base plate for three finger contact on the gun. Just under a three inch barrel, nice ergos to it. Sky actually slimmed down the grip from the CPX2, feels really nice, finger grooves there and a double action trigger with restrike capability because it is a hammer fired gun that I'm measuring closer to eight pounds. On the website it says a nine pound trigger. Nonetheless, I've had this to the range quite a bit. I put a lot of rounds through it. It's still performing very well. Three dot sights, windage adjustable, rear sight, pinned in, front sight. Let's take a few shots. Nice, just as I remember it. Nice handgun. Now, you heard me say that I've taken quite a few rounds through it, or I've, I've shot it quite a bit. I actually ran a 500 round torture test with the CPX3, and I was very happy with the results. Now, this was continuous, you know, uh, 500 rounds. There were a couple nose dives in the magazines, but for the most part, the gun itself fired very reliably, and I was very much happy to see that. Now the MSRP on this is 305. However, I'm seeing it all over the place for right around 200, 210, 215, and I think that's a steal for a gun that performed as well as I have come to know it, especially with that torture test. And ever since, it's just become a very reliable handgun. Now the one thing that makes this a little unique is that it does have a Roebuck quad lock system and what that means is that it makes contact with the barrel on four different spots each time the slide charges meaning that it is pretty accurate at least it maintains its accuracy throughout so I, I've been happy with it I really have and I think for a $200 gun it's a great deal a phenomenal deal now it also comes with a flat base plate which is what this is so you don't quite get the three finger contact, but it's still a, still a decent feel. I like the one with the extended base plate, but for those who carry, many people want to carry with the smallest configuration possible, and you could do that with that right there. Let me try this one handed and see how I do. Not bad. One of the things that the CPX3 offers is a very light spring weight. Many times people say, hey, look, I'm trying to get a handgun for my mom or, you know, somebody's a senior citizen, somebody has a hand injury, maybe my sister, girlfriend, wife, whatever the case. They say they want a 380 ACP light recoil with a lightweight spring. And I would say this has a lightweight spring. It is. It's, you know, very easy to charge. Uh, pretty simple disassemble, a nice all-around package. I've been impressed with it, and it was that 500-round torture test that really made me a believer. Prior to that, I was like, I don't know how it's going to perform, and it was hot, it was dirty, and it just kept firing out those rounds one after another, and I've been very much happy with it ever since. Let me go ahead and load it up. I'll turn the camera around, and we'll take a look from that viewpoint and see how it goes. All right, 10 more rounds loaded up, 380 ACP. This is 95 grain Winchester white box. And I like the way those rear serrations kind of curve in the back. I think that looks cool. Also has the line on top to cut down on the glare. Sky offers many different colors. When this first came out, it was all black or another one with a stainless slide. And now they have pink and green and everything else. Not so much my desire, but I know a lot of people like that. But let's check it out. We'll take a few shots and see if I can continue to hit the target. All right. 
right, and a couple of those cases came back right toward me. But we have a bonus section. Six rounds here. Lipris test. I've done this before at the range. This is my third or fourth time at the range with this CPX3, but let's check out the Lipris uh, and see how well this performs. And the sky passed the Lipris test. So there it is, Sky CPX3. Nice handgun. I'm a believer in this gun based on my experiences. Um, I'm happy with it. Just passed the Lipris test, which speaks pretty highly. But that 500 round torture test really told me that this is a steal for 200 bucks. On the low end, 200 bucks. I don't know what it's like in today's market because things are crazy, but I do have a strong regard for this little 380 ACP handgun. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.